The start of school is going to be very chaotic just because no one really knows what's going on. Detroit Public Schools is having students take a survey about whether they want to take in-person learning or virtual learning. I chose online learning because I thought it was the safest. I'm a little sad that we're going to start online and I just think the thought of doing things online in my own room by myself is a very isolating feeling. For me, I'm going to be going into school. I don't know, I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm also excited to like get back to school because it's been a really long time since I've actually physically been in school. At my school, they're doing it kind of different. Everything is still online, but you can go to the school, which I need because if I'm at home, I just feel like I'll go to sleep or I won't take it as seriously as I should. When you go into a public building, you don't know where these people have been. You don't know what they've been touching. You don't know who they've been around. And there's just no way that you can say, yeah, I'm completely clean and free of the virus. So I think that going completely online is the best course of action right now, um, given the state of the pandemic. It's going to be weird the way teachers have to teach as some of their students are going to be online, some of them are going to be face to face. But I am kind of sad and skeptical about how this is going to work. I'm not really going to get that senior experience, you know, the senior sunset, homecoming, our football games in the beginning of the year. I think it's going to be really hard for me. I'm going to be doing my online work in my room right next to my bed and just like, oh, should I sleep in a little bit longer? Like, and not everybody just has, you know, the perfect household that's quiet all the time. So I think that's going to be a huge disadvantage. What I'm most worried about isn't me. It's my younger siblings. I have a very hyperactive eight-year-old brother and a 10-year-old brother with learning disabilities. I know they probably won't be able to sit in front of a computer for eight hours. What are exams or just basic tests going to look like? Also the fact that I have yet to take the SAT. To prepare for school, I've been online shopping for school supplies, but I'm gonna need lots of like hand sanitizer and Clorox wipes and all that stuff. I'm preparing for school by just keeping myself educated on the state of our country right now, which is very disappointing. I've been riding my bike around the neighborhood a lot. It helps me clear my mind. Same thing with roller skating. Drawing and playing the guitar are two of my biggest stress relievers, especially if I'm feeling really like just down and under the weather. This year, it's just going to be really different and it's going to be a lot to get used to. But I think once we start and once the first week or two goes by, I think everybody will feel a lot more comfortable. And I'll have more time during my break to do my homework. So I feel like that's a huge advantage. I also don't have to eat school lunch every day anymore. Um, I'm going to honestly just work as hard as I can online and look for upcoming colleges and, you know, just try my best. So. We'll see how it goes. September 8th, I'm ready. I'm going to treat it like any regular school day. And I hope it's the best year yet.